take my mind back to all the Fuji beefs. And I asked myself, this mother podcast could have just collaborated, created an album, and and made a fuck ton of money, made shit loads of money, but That's rather drag themselves, take each other's girlfriends and wives, and make music about it. Pat, so Wale is not criticizing <laughs> the beef fundamentally. Okay. No. Wale is talking about it from the concept of what evil people are doing and how it's benefiting their culture. Okay. Right? We want to address beef. It's not like high life artists didn't have a beef. Oh, they, they had beef, oh. <laughs> hey! They had beef. Come on, they high life. I feel like this is my. I want to say mic one, mic two, mic three. Like you know, I'm trying to give. When my did you become a hip hop edge? My Kendrick moment. It's just like. <laughs> oh, be oh. Don't let me know what Kendrick. Kendrick never. Okay, yeah, you said that. Oh, be oh. You didn't say oh, be say oh, be oh. Ted is added. Ted, Ted, you say you say oh, be oh. He, that's not what he said over you, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Zero Conditions Podcast. I'm sorry, we are late. I'm busy. We are late. I had some <laughs> some women related hazard, but it's cool. We're back. Do you ever change clothes in your life? Like repeat clothes? I do. I don't know what to think I am. First and foremost, I'm a broke babe. Wow. Why wouldn't I change clothes? <laughs> Melody. Anyways, I bring- this podcast is brought to you by Pop Central. She was regal. No, mention Shiva Sugar first. Actually, actually. Sorry, Pop Central, I'm sorry. You get another call. Cool. So, this episode is <laughs> brought to you by Shiva's Regal and Pop Central Second. Do you understand? Even Pop Central wants us to push Shiva's number one. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> sorry <laughs> to Nancy. Um, no, sorry to Mr. Inka. Sorry, sorry to no Nancy sorry. and CJ. Sorry you now go feel Sorry. Film. Yeah, actually. No vex. <laughs> Shiva's, you know the year, Sha. Get yeah. alpha. I don't even know what's so going on. So, stop now. saying but On this episode, too. Mm. No, before we get to that, sorry that we that the bottle is almost finished. <laughs> yeah, before drinking. we got here, um, mm-hmm. due to some occupational hazard, okay. the bottle, we had to get the bottle on that level before the yeah. show. Nonetheless, it's a very exciting episode. Yeah, we have cock- we have a, we have cocktails today. We have cocktails. We have Wale Ozolua. We have, we have Mr. Wale Ozolua. Don't, no, don't, don't Mr. Wale. What the hell? OG Wale Ozolua. This is an aspiring Gen Z buddy. Thank aspiring. you. Aspiring. I yes. understand. And as far as Jay Z, but you put Mister, you know those things that all those those men say when they like it, babe. Mark we mini Mister. You understand? Ah ah. We mini Wale. Mark we mini Chief. We mini Loru call. We mini Loru call me. Call me by my name. I'm not your uncle. Your uncle is in your daddy's house. That's what I'm saying. Your uncle. I need to bow this episode. Actually, actually. On this should. podcast, right now, I either go on this podcast, go on give. There, I got a real melody. Anytime, anytime that guy sees melody, remember the spaces. Hey, okay, but you know, no, Agba's thing is to raise babes, and he does yeah. it so effortlessly. True. So you are, you were raised. I know his game. So now. you were raised. Yeah, yeah, were you? Mm-hmm. 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 Madam, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. exactly. Like, yeah, you were raised. I was raised. Yeah. You felt it. Felt Which it. part was it that that you felt? I think for me with Agba, what. What makes me laugh and just like guy is the way he says it. It's not even about what he says. Melody. <laughs> it's the pace. That is, he, he talks like he's got no worries in his life. Like he wants no to spend stress. the rest of his life, you know, toasting you. He's like, don't worry, I got all the time. I'm and not that's what women want. It I'm might not be rushing. true. But in that moment. In that moment. Also, actually, don't why do people like lies? I don't Or is it make me believe? I don't think it's lies. I think it's just okay. women. They, they Lulu. They just love being hyped. It's like hype me. Being the center of attention. Yes, it's like yeah, that's just what it is. Mm. Do you understand? Even though sometimes they exaggerate. Even though they're like, lying to you. Yeah. And you know they're lying. Even though you are going to carry your old boy. No, no, guys. But we <laughs> be very honest. Even though you are going to carry a Nigerian politician, a Tinubu follower, Agbado boy, Agbado baby. No, but speaking about Tinubu or speaking about Agbado, I don't know what has been going on in Lagos lately with the flood but i think Bruh. it's so heartbreaking lately lately no i mean like this rainy season that's always been happening but i feel like as the, this rainy season has been so bad you think so yes no i think well, we've had worse I, yeah i think it's it's it's, it's, been it's, worse. it's normal it's not it's this, regular this, this is worse. regular we've seen we've seen what you know much more devastating flood episodes and it's an annual thing unfortunately it just goes to show that we never prepare for anything yeah. Especially for emergency situations. Yeah. You would expect that by now certain measures would have been put in place to 
not to just not to control the flooding yeah. but to manage the after effect yeah you know by now and un- unfortunately i hate to be a doomsday prophet but next year it's going to be worse it's going to happen again yeah and we would still say it is it is worse you know and it will happen again in 2026 it will happen again in 20 until we fix what needs to be fixed proper drainages um, people taking full responsibility of maintaining, you know, cleanliness. I mean, we saw images and videos of people throwing out refuse, you know, in flooded areas. Terrible within, waste management. Very, very terrible. And ah, it is what it is. It's not just Lagos, so I mean, it's yeah. all over the country. But I think it's worse in Lagos. You think so? Yeah. Yes. There are certain areas you go to in, in your state and you'll be like, Kilo shit. Kilo yeah. shit. But why did. So I grew up in Akure, uh-huh. right? And I'm not saying there's no flood in there. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I'm saying. But it is not pronounced. Yeah, but the areas where they happen are probably like rural areas mm-hmm. or the places where they're, it's almost it's close, Ileo, 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 yeah, to close like, to the coastal areas. Coast, yes. Coastal areas. Yes. Right. But in Lagos, anywhere. Anywhere, like, can, anywhere can get it. Do you understand? I think the most ratchet um, upscale place in the world is Lekki. Like it's so ratchet. That is, that but is upscale is even like I mean, no, no, no. What I mean by upscale is like the value of land, yeah, the value the, of the, property, the perception, the perception the yes, yeah. It's, it's, Do you understand where that prestige that is not prestige oh, no, man. at all? Prestige where they sell bread, it's not brother. <laughs> I mean, if if you've survived this flawed episode, cheers to you, man. Bro. So the reason I, I like Wale said, he said it's not just in Lagos, but the yeah. reason I feel like Lagos is. Worth There's it. so much attention on Lagos yeah. because Lagos prides itself as a mega city. You take, you know, just don't let it go. People hear that prides itself hey, as God. the the, <laughs> the, the the center of excellence, the center of excellence, the the, the 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 state that everyone should aspire to. It is expected. It is expected, and we also, you know, we are the city, we are the state that you know everything is happening, mm-hmm. mega city, and all of that. So everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to be here. So if we spend so much time talking about being a mega city. Why do we constantly have issues that we should have resolved for a long no, time? What, like what resolved state is, a long time what ago. What's your um, certificates of origin? What's it? Obviously, yeah. Oh, no, Lagos. No. Oh, no. Well, do you understand? Sorry. So I think it's just quite disheartening that we keep making this. Scene. Like you said, it happens every year. So what mm. is the solution? When these things pop up, we see like. Take for example this this last one that happened mm-hmm. days ago. We saw the um, commissioner of environment environment and water resources responding on twitter and saying no it's a flash flood it's gonna go away and i'm just do, like do, do, the commissioner of water resources commissioner of the environment and water, and water resources, water resources. Mm-hmm. the water resources part yeah. oh yeah pun <laughs> intended <laughs> pun, <laughs> stand, <it's> like, <laughs> pun <laughs> intended the, the thing is the thing is uh, 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 one thing about him you know come on social media and respond though uh, Okay, so this might sound... I, first off, before I say what I want to say, I do not hold brief for any political party, political association, yeah. Yeah. Uh, politician, or any religious group or peer pressure, whatever group or association. Or tribe. Or tribe. I got to give it to the Commissioner for Environment in terms of his responsiveness. Time. His response time. His response time, I got to give it to him. Man has been... He tried that. He, he tried. At least. S- seven over ten. It's not, it's not the right it's, thing, yeah, but, but it's what you need to it's do. It's what you need situation. to do. And he, he's been able to put certain steps. Unfortunately for the, the gentleman commissioner, he's battling against failed systems and processes that is not just affecting Lagos, but has consistently affected Nigeria as a whole. I mean, if you look at how far we've come as a country, Flash floods and 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 certain things should be a thing of the past. A thing of the past. A thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. At, at least, if not preventable, but properly managed. Properly managed. Let's leave and I, and urban and infrastructure. I, also, I beg. And I also think that in that situation, like you guys said, shout out to him for his response time and all of that. But I particularly just be like, mm, you know, these things that happen when it comes to politics. Yes, what your niggas always do. This is like. Everybody wants to show that they are working. Mm, Everybody wants yeah. to be the one that is on social so media. You don't, you don't, so you, you don't trust the response for what it is. I don't even want you to respond. I just I don't want I don't want us to be in a situation where you need to respond to such things because those things shouldn't. As, even a, as a Nigerian woman, show me action. No words. I mean, 
Bro, oh, Odogu, Odogu, what, what's, what's Sharon's husband's name again? Odogu Silencer. Odogu, Odogu Silencer. Silencer. I hate social media. Small talk. <laughs> so, small big talk. Action. Big action. Big action. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, um, Odogu Silencer. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. But let me not lie. I mean, see, if your wife would call you Odogu Silencer. What is Odogu Silencer? Every time Odogu you wake is, up. is, is, um. Of course I know Odogu is like. Ah, okay, sorry. Why are you Igbo? I speak Igbo very well. Yes, and yes. a part of me is Igbo. Oh, your mom is evil. Yes. So please, oh. Wally, break down the Odogu Silesa for us. Okay, so Odogu is technically a term that is given to mostly men that ha- that in their community or their society, they've played very influential and very influential roles in terms of um, bringing the people together, uh, taking steps that... Well, have- why are you allowing Wally to explain? You know how people... <laughs> Taking steps that have, you know, led to development of the community. Mm. And they are usually giving serious, you know, respect. Whenever there's a community gathering and they are not there, certain actions cannot be taken. But you need, you need money to be an Odogu Silencer. Uh, you, okay. might have, you might have the money, but then your money is not speaking for you. Hence the Odogu Silencer. Oji, the money. The money is talking. He doesn't need to talk. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> you know, so it's the money that is doing the talking. You get. Uh-huh. So, so you know, the Odogu is just there chilling. The chilling. money is talking. Do you know do you know why I like Igbo? Why? The one thing all these motherfuckers that surround me, they don't want to teach me. Especially Chooks, that motherfucker. If I see you say later, <laughs> you, if I see you in this You've been videos, hanging out with the wrong people. I will quack you. Yeah, but why do you want to learn though? Why because not? no, I want let, no, let's, let me the reason why I want to learn yeah. is I, I'm going to be rich. Oh, okay. And I need to brag. And there's no language. So there are three things that I like to say about mm-hmm. in Nigeria. When you are rich, the way how some men carry themselves is how you want to carry yourself. Yeah. The way Igbo people talk is the way you want to talk. The way Yoruba mm-hmm. people party and musicians hail you is how you want to be Yoruba. So, so you I'm want to combining combine everything. <laughs> You understand? My name is not Odogu. He's not Odogu Silencer. He's Odogu Molotov Cocktail. Mm. Odogu Triple Threat. Odogu Give Death. He's in a Triple Threat. No, no, you're not saying anywhere. Odogu Triple Threat. Triple Threat. <laughs> Odogu Triple Threat. Triple Threat. You're talking about so. What does Otago mean? What does Otago mean? Do you understand? Oh. Are you, are you getting me? Are you, are getting, you getting me? me? <laughs> I love it. Are I you getting me? Are you getting me? God, that, that place. One name. Has like, to be. Ah. But speaking about Odogu Silencer, before, like this evening, before I came to the pod, I was watching videos of. Oh, um, my head, don't they, don't they come up? Oh, like. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I was watching music nice. videos of Flavor. I, I watched the um, um, Larry Gaga. Yeah. Larry Gaga and Flavor. Larry Gaga, Flavor, Fino. I think they have. What? I can't remember. Eje, Eje, Eje. Eje, Eje, Eje. Eje, Eje, Eje. Eje, Eje, That's what I had Peter Doche. Yep. And it was so. And I, Teresa and Nora. Yes. The OG. The OG. Like. OG yeah. I think one thing that I love the most one about Flavor is that he embodies his igbo-ness. Hmm. As an artist. Yeah. Over time, you know, becoming the mega superstar that he is, yeah. mm-hmm. he still continues. Is to it just is it a flavor thing, melody, or is it all of them? I'm going somewhere now. Okay. He continues to push the, the culture. culture. Yeah. Do you understand? Do you know that we through have his, through his craft, through his craft, his music videos, the language, the, you know. Um, Richard, I don't know if you are hearing this, or the cocktails my niece will start falling off now, my brother. Ha ha ha! Plicks. Is it not flex? Flex, flex. And flicks. it is so beautiful to see that he continues to do that. You know, a lot of times, or sometimes, we have artists that maybe start out, maybe um, singing in their local dialect and yeah. all of that, and as they continue to grow, they start to change. They start to change. Mm-hmm. And I see that in the in amongst the Igbo speaking Nigerian artists that we have, Fino, Flavor, Larry Gaga, and a couple of other guys, mm-hmm. they are so. They are, and also they are so big on collaboration. They yep. are also so big on using their music to push the Igbo culture. Yep. Now let's go to what Charlie Poppy did with um, Oba, Oba, Pluto. Oba Pluto and the Benin thing. I f- when he started popping, one of the things that people loved the most about him, especially from the Benin Oba Pluto side, was the biggest song that he had at mm-hmm. the start until Cass came out. Mm-hmm. It, one thing that people really connected to him, that made people connect to him, is the Benin side of yeah. you know the his music at the beginning and who he featured and how he's always talking about Benin, 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 Benin. Benin, 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 Benin
and all of that. I don't think that we say that enough with the Yoruba speaking out there. You think so? Okay. I think we do. Well, we, do. we do. We do. It's just that a lot of them aren't mainstream. I think they are. They're Example. Sorry, I, I, don't, I don't think I finished that line of thought. When I'm saying, what I mean is that I don't think we see a lot of Yoruba speaking artists do that thing where they are pushing the Yoruba culture, culture. Okay. collaborating okay. with like OG's Yor- uh, OG Yoruba I th- I artists. Think we do. Like how, okay, so give me an example. I think we do. When, when um, that comes to mind, natural story with Teri Akpala, with Akpala Fusion. Olamide and Kwamwan. When, how many? Nice, years? And, but I'm, I'm painting the picture. Okay, it's keep coming. It's a very wide picture. Okay, keep coming. Um, that was a long time ago, though. Yeah, but Shino Peters and and was cast beats that year. Yeah. That year. Yeah, I'm but I'm, I'm coming. I'm okay, coming. coming. <coughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Terry Apaland, um, Sh- Aaron Ashalau, yes. some years ago. Um, 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 Ad- Jasmine Olofi and um, Adewale Yuba. Exactly. Now. <coughs> Recent years. Uh. I would have said Niniola, but she just mentioned... There's a song coming up Bala. by Psycho YP and Saido. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying now, like, in, in like... In this <coughs> era. In this era. This era. This era of music con- so music better, streaming. Right. This era of music streaming. I think, I think you're right. They don't carry even artists do. I think, I think, so I think... something about the way they carry... I, 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 think there's con- I think there's a little bit of context there. Okay. And I think there is... It goes back to a lot of Nigerian history. Mm-hmm. So, guys, we're not seeing that logo. Listen this up. Um, <laughs> I think that Nigerian history is littered with a lot of instances. Why that might be the case. Okay. So, Nigeria gained independence. We were amalgamated, which I think it was a big mistake. But, whatever. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I to judge? Shout out, Lord Lugat, you motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um... We were, we were amalgamated and then we gained independence, but then there were still a lot of differences. Like mm-hmm. these people that you brought together 46 years later, they still don't know how to live together and coexist. Anyway, so the 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 first coup happened, um, f- then um, Nigerian Civil War. Mm-hmm. Nigerian Civil War happened, a lot of history went down there. Everybody did a lot of bullshit. bullshit yeah. Like everybody did some bullshit, right? Um, and then it happened, but the aftermath of it brought about like a change in culture. Like, evil people started doing psychedelic, psychedelic rock, and they crossed over with a lot of that shit, right? And then the second part is the culture, what's the culture of apprenticeship system? What's the name of that thing? Um, Bomboy. No, um, no, there's a name for it. There's an Igbo name for There's an Igbo name for it, Igbo terminology. Um, gosh. What is it called again? I swear I can't remember. I, I know it, but the I word has just, just left my yeah. head. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah, that, that Uma boy culture, right? Yes. Igbo apprenticeship system yeah. came up because Igbo people realized that we can only depend on each other. Yeah. Yep. Right? There was a distrust for outsiders, outsiders distrusted them. So what can we do? Let's expand and create wealth. Right? And that culture of collaboration that you're talking about is something that is rooted in Igbo culture because of what Nigeria Nigeria has shown them. Right? Mm-hmm. It's something so it's we are only, it's not that we are seeing it in music. It's across all Igbo culture. It's just, it's just a symptom of what... It's just an example of what Igbo culture is. Mm-hmm. Like bringing people up. People in your family. Come Collaboration. You. Collaboration. Pe- Have you seen this film um, on Netflix? What's that other film? Um, I've seen it. You know, I had the, the Uwa Boy story. Yeah, that Uwa Boy story. And Stanley Zed. Uh, that he was that's, a, that's the best yeah. movie I've seen. I can't remember the title. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, it's, it's the best it's movie. It's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful movie. I love right? it. Right? And the culture. There was a scene. My favorite scene in it was where. Let me find the title now. Stanley Zed, Stanley Zed was talking. To, someone, stole, someone increased money. Mm-hmm. Right? And Too much. Yeah. And Stanley Zed went, Stanley Zed's character went to report to Kanayo Kanayo's character. Who was the chief? Who was your guy? And Stanley Zed was like. Mm. I can, I can, that's a fantastic movie. If you have not seen it, go and see it. Go and see it. We have a lot of IJGB people. You need to see that movie. <laughs> um, so, where can I, can I told him that you hype hiking money is not a problem. Do you know how insane, how, how comfortable you must be? How selfless it is where the culture permits people to be smart and benefit as long as you don't kill the business. Yes. Like, that is the most realistic shit I have ever seen. I, I, that, that part was really Do you understand? Good. That part made me feel like, what the fuck? Wow. Yep. These people get it. 
Do you understand the idea of growth? They just get it. They get it. Like, they get the fact that a boy with this shop said they won't carry baby. You understand? A boy with they won't buy jeans. You get responsibility. You get responsibility. Instead, of stealing, money, instead of stealing my money, make so much money, you make your own money, I make sell my, my product, money. put my money happy. in the bank, and we're good. Don't, don't steal my money. You understand? Everybody's happy. Hmm. Yeah. Don't steal my money. Don't steal my, don't my money. Steal my money. And you making yeah, money yeah. will not make you steal my money. We reduce the chances of, of you stealing, stealing my, my money. money because you would have money to do your. And at the end of the day, yeah, I'll I still agree. give you ten million, fifteen, twenty million to, go to and set, set up your own you. shop. Yeah, and still support so the okay. business. And I'll give you products, and I'll be referring people to. Ibo people are the only people I see in market where they don't get something. My brother get them. Yeah, my, yep. my brother get them. Yep. They always say my brother, I get them. I get them, but in my other shop. In my other shop. Do you know the level yeah. of that's, collaboration that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. that's that's that is? That's It's not your other shop. Shut the fuck up, You don't have it. You don't, you don't have that shit. Chijo, okay, boy, fine. Never a boy, fine. Yeah, with that, um, Honda, left, left hub. Get away, bolt, Nishia. Why are you here? You guys, don't kill me. So you're basically establishing that it's not a Nigerian, it's not an ego artist thing in the Nigerian music industry. It's an ego thing. Do you agree? It's an ego thing. Hmm. If, ah, to be honest, yeah, because I mean, I'm looking at all, I'm taking my mind back to all the Fuji beefs that have happened. And I ask myself, these motherfuckers could have just collaborated, created an album, and made, made a fuck ton of money. Made shit loads of money. But That's rather, drag themselves, take each other's girlfriends and wives, and make music about pass it. Pass around Hollywood <laughs> actresses. And, and mm. move on. Take each other's wives. Pa- pass around Hollywood no, actresses. Yeah, that one is... Um, <clears throat> let's drink. <laughs> <laughs> let's drink. But why... So now, b- making reference to the Fuji Beef one, mm-hmm. right? And you guys are saying they could have collaborated and all of that and made more money. Why don't you guys have that same energy for hip hop beefs? <laughs> so that we walk ha, into that one. Like, ah. You just had to drag us into oh it. Oh my god! You guys fan those ones. Melody is different. Mm. Nigerian artist beef, big three beef. So uh, Wale, is, three? Wale is not criticizing. So Wale is not criticizing <laughs> the beef fundamentally. Okay. No. Wale is talking about it from the concept of what evil people are doing and how it's benefiting their culture. Okay. Right. Now, if we want to address beef, it's not like high life artists didn't have they like beef. They oh, they had beef. beef oh. <laughs> hey. They had beef. Um, they high life. They ah. had beef. I get it, guys. Like, people had beef. It's not enough to be mainstream beef where niggas are making smash it record. Oh, be oh. You understand? <laughs> oh, God, <you> know. <laughs> right? But niggas had beef. Right? Um, and there, there are beef that, there, there are certain beef that I saw that were even mainstream. Like, um, I think Orlando and Ilemure. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Akure. Mm. So I, yeah, oh, I heard I that know, one. Do you know Orlando? Of course I know Orlando. Do you know Ilemure? I don't know the other one. Dr. Ilemure. You don't ah. know Chief Ilemure. You're not saying it well. LSM, what's LSM? LSM, what's LSM? LSM, what's LSM? LSM, what's LSM? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Chief, what's that? Who's that? Chief. Chief Doctor, oh, you put it in brackets. brackets. <laughs> Chief Doctor, Ah, the no, no, superstar no. of Fifty State. You are disrespectful. What? You what? don't know what? shit. What? You the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, but Elemuregoyemi is like the. It was the biggest export of Fifty State back in the eighties and the nineties. Was huge, right? So I think him and Orlando had like beef. So Orlando was mom, I believe, had diabetes. Right, I thought maybe Olimore's mom had diabetes. I think it was Olimore's mom. Yeah, that had diabetes, mm. so that one became a subject of beef, just like what Justin Drake and Kendrick. Mm. Um, that was the song that I made. I only like Barry Ajak and Yimi Ajak. I'm a historian of music. That's this, yeah, that's I've this. never heard a song in my life. Guy, you take it to that next oh, no. <laughs> at, oh, My no. folks are from Make It State. I don't even. <laughs> I, I, I grew up. I grew up in between Surya and Mushin. You Mushin's. also know that song. Yeah, I grew up in yeah. between Surya and Mushin. So oh, this, those songs were big in the. In the in Are you in the wine mini with all those speakers that had cut out boxes at the back? What? God damn it, this guy. But how did you guys understand the Kitty dialect? We didn't have to. Pun intended. Was the melody. <laughs> and that's on period. <laughs> It was the melody. That's on period. You know, so it was me. And, and, I did and that. <laughs> Where you were never born. That. Why you were you born again? Fuck you. What the fuck? And then what's all I So it was, it was, I don't know how those records came into town, but I know 
at that, at that point there was there was a major physical distribution of of records yeah, LPs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and and we had and people were marketing and with wool barrels and we were selling door to door Ooh. yeah door to door store to store back then you could walk <sighs> from mushing from Eduro to Tedro show and you go to the premier music store and the record is there you buy it you pay and then they'll be, they be playing it and then you'd see kids women dancing and then you turn around two days later they've closed one street somewhere around Kadoso in Mushin and that same particular artist what? is performing but they remind me what was what was propagating the culture though Wally? because Tech- you guys are not Ekiti, so you are not on those stages you don't enjoy me Orlando was from Owo mm-hmm. let me is from Ekolekiti mm-hmm. so how is it the music? The music and that vibe of we all just want to party. So it was either you were going to, you know, Ibadan. Mm, Ibadan was a hub. Though. Ibadan was the hub of, you know, Jaye. blew everything. Iba- mm. Everything blew yeah, up. Ibadan, 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 Ibadan blew up Ibadan. a lot of, you know, um, hardcore Yoruba music. Yoruba music. music. Yeah. yeah. Fuji. Every Fuji. Fuji. blew up in Ibadan. Even blew up in Ibadan. Ibadan. Then, of course, as people moved, you know, oh, they're taking bags, baggage, and they're, moving to and the they're carrying their, the music to, to Lagos. And then you wake up one morning, your next door neighbor is playing one particular song, and like, ah, okay, they look, you look at me, old body, you they like it. Say, they yummy. Wally, what's your story? Huh. I need a drink. Yeah, I, I need me a drink. I need me a drink. Which story do you want to hear? Which of the stories? <laughs> which, which story do you want to Paraphrase hear? Paraphrase from the start. Because it ah. seems like you have a... Your name alone. <laughs> okay. So where do I begin? I, I was born in Lagos. Um, I grew up, like I said, um, on Ishaga Road. Ishaga Road is just smacking between Ojo Elegba and Idiara. Ojo Elegba, Chita. Mm. Bro, you know, and... Growing up, I remember, if I close my eyes, I, I, I can remember how Western Avenue was as a kid. In between, on that highway, we had, we had palm trees, man. Not now. We had palm trees, yeah, growing up. Um, we used to play football on that highway there. And I grew up around a lot of music. So till today, it's hard for me to say, oh, this is my favorite artist. I listen to everything. 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 High Shout life. out to you for the work you do in the you industry. Know. We appreciate you. Thanks, G. Thanks, G. So, uh, so um, I honestly never imagined that I would be in the music scene. Mm. I never imagined that it would happen. But I, I, I grew up in a household where every Thursday or Friday, depending, because I know Premier Records used to bring new music. Shout out to Premier Records. You know, those guys Shout did some Avanti major records. moves. Yep. Because without, without them... I'm not sure music would have crossed over. Travel, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. They, they did major work, especially with the physical distribution of, of music. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So um, I grew up in a household where every Thursday or Friday, my granddad, and I grew up with my grandparents, my granddad would always play new music. It didn't matter who. New Music Friday. It was New Music Friday for us. Did that give something about growing up with like your gr- grandparents? That gives you a lot of music. context. Nah, there, was, there, was, there, was, there, was, there was music from... Jesus, there was music from Mali. It was music from Uganda. So I knew a lot of African countries without knowing where they were on where they are on, on the map, but through music. music. I would hear a particular string and I'd be like, ah! Ooh, that's some good zook right there. Turn up the volume. Did you say yeah. zook? Yeah. You are good. <laughs> 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 it also... Um, that basically just was my formative years. And of course, um, I went to school. I schooled in the East. Yeah. Um, that's where I had more um, experience listening to a lot of Eastern music. Um, Even though you had an Eastern side. Yeah. So yeah. the grandparents grew up with maternal. Pa- maternal. So yeah. you were the Igbo side. Oh, yeah, the Igbo side. Igbo it was side. straight up Igbo side. And... Of course, I listened to, even before I started listening to Oliver the Coke, I was already listening to the likes of the late Mary Kano, Gugula, 
Yeah, the late Mary Kanu. I was already listening to um, Jesus. Names have escaped. There's Anora. Ooh. Ooh. Brother. You know, so you, there, were, there, were, there were artists that came from places like Aruchuku, um, yes. uh, places like Mbise. There, there was this particular this man from Owere who performed at a nightclub somewhere around Douglas Road back in the day. You know, so I didn't know who the man was, but just my, dad, my grandpa would be playing it and he'd be telling me about the man. So in my head, my grandpa was what's, what's the name a of superstar. That, what's the name of that high life artist that came to perform at Afropolitan Vibes that year? What year? Uh, 2018. 18? Uh, Bro, I was in the bad one. Huh. Well, is, is, is it work that took you to the bad one? Ah! Or did you leave in the bad one for work? No, 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 no. No, so between 2011 and Early 2013, I was broke, unemployed, depressed, angry, and disappointed in myself. <laughs> what year now? 2011, 2011 and, 2013. and 20, early 2013. Were you living in Lagos? I was in Lagos. Were you done with school? With yes, uni? no. NYC, everything, you know, I had in my head, you know, I had... What did you study? Sociology. Okay. Yeah, so um, I was broke. I was living with my dad then, you know, and things weren't panning out at all. And I ran into ah oh god. I ran into a friend, hmm. an old friend, and she was like, "Yo, I've been looking for you for a long time now. What are you doing?" You know, that day, I just carried two. I will never forget. I had two five, and I went to buy shore body spray because I needed to eat for to go to a party that my father was going for. And I told her what was going on, and she was like, "And we are still in this Lagos, yeah? Leave Lagos now, like to where?" And do what? She not, and she goes, you know what? There's something I think you can do. What's that person's name? Her name is Vicky. Shout out to Vicky. Shout out to Vicky, man. And she was like, I, there's something I think you, you have the skill for, but you just don't know it yet. yet. And, she was, and I was like, ah, would I be paid? She said, yeah. And that's how one thing led to another. I got, I got interviewed. I went for an interview at Beat FM in Ikoi. Yeah. And... God in heaven. I I didn't know that the role was to be a radio presenter. In my head, I just thought it was maybe like a boyabi admin officer. All I wanted was to be collecting salary. Salary, just collecting. I just wanted to collect salary. And we I scaled through, then I was invited for the bottom version. Did you have radio experience? Like no, zero. Bro, see, see, let me just make a confession now. I knew the only thing I knew about radio. It was just everyone I had listened to, you know, even before Cool FM came. Because when Cool FM came, no, even before Ray Power came, hmm. OG. Was, bro, I, I grew up listening to OGBC too. Let me ask you a question about radio that yeah. I've always wanted to discuss. <laughs> Melody is going to like this. Oh my How God. powerful is radio at breaking records now? Now. Now. Don't forget to put the emphasis on now. 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 now not. Any more yeah, not as, not wait, not as powerful as it is comma in oh, certain man. places. God bless you. I'll explain why. <clears throat> See, in, that, that caveat very in certain important. places. In in places like Abuja, Lagos, no stand let me start from Lagos. Lagos, Abuja, PH. and P- Port no, Harcourt. PH is even us, it's not, not yes. Yeah. So Lagos and Abuja. Lagos and Abuja. There's no break an artist power for any radio station yeah. on yep. the list. It's we're in full it's, digital overdrive. It's gone, yeah? yeah. To the point that a lot of these radio stations are now playing catch up. Yep. Yeah. Now, but for stations in Akure, in Akure, Ibadan, in Ibadan, Enugu, Enugu Kaduna, Kanu, Sokoto, I need to call places that I have been to. Uh, yeah, they they rely heavily on artists reaching out to them. One to and the local consumption of listeners there at the moment so so anybody can become a king you can you can have a good song that is not being played in any of the top radio stations in lagos but in you are Kaduna, blowing up outside lagos. Blowing up outside. like they love you they die. love you yeah. die so they don't know you but they just like you just to speak on that it's like how i st- when this song ogechi this is nice what's nice 
Shivers. Shivers, of course. Shivers, X-Men. Can I get a mix up, please? I bet you're a dark one. Buy the bottle, nigga. One extra bottle. Where's Richard? I'm on this cocktail. I bet me check on Richard. May they bring his cocktail. One extra bottle, please. Thank you very much. Let me check on Richard. We need to drink cocktails, Brad. This conversation that we're having about radio. No, it's fine. That we're having about radio and songs blowing up. That's what fuck you. And songs blowing up yeah. in certain regions and not necessarily yeah. blowing up in Lagos. And maybe people in Lagos don't even know the song. It reminds mm-hmm. me of that Ogechi song. Yeah. Okay. The one featuring the, that the video oh, just jumped. Oh, the remix. The oh, remix. Okay. I remember TikTok when takeover. it feels like a, a good number of people were introduced to the song when David Do jumped on it in Lagos. Yes. And they were like, ah. When did mm-hmm. David Do do it? Yeah. Yo, you know, no, no, no. Yeah. I saw people tweeting about um, it. Do I live in a bubble? Yes. Did you know the song? Of course you know the song. You already knew. You, you, and... And I think I even saw Adia's tweet about the song. I'll find Adia it. Adia tweeted about like two weeks prior. To when Davido yeah. jumped on it. Yeah. But when the song started blowing up in Lagos here. So he said, ah, that this song is blowing up. I can't remember the tweet he was. But mm-hmm. he was expressing that people are jamming to this, this song. song. And yeah. I'm like, this song. So I've been... The first <laughs> time I heard that song, I can't remember when. I've done that song since. So I, th- I think the way it's like that, the reason it's like that is very simple. The, the internet and digital creates an illusion of unification that we don't have. You don't know. Just because you are listening on it on TikTok doesn't mean it's blowing up. Blowing up, us. yes. Does that make yes. sense? Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, it does. Because the people that are playing those, someone might be called Kaduna. Kaduna. Are you joking? Or in Enugu. Are you joking? Enugu, yeah. Korea, whatever, right? And TikTok just unifies everybody. So you think that because it's blowing up on TikTok, it's, blowing, it's blowing up. Yes. No, no, it's, it's not. not. It's right? It's not. But... I think that's illusion, and but that's the reality that we live in now. Mm-hmm. Everything is becoming digital. Un- un- unfortunately, and that shit is kind Maggi, of scary unfortunately, with, with with how things are blowing up digital, it has created a large. I keep telling people, especially artists or emerging artists, yeah. that there's a huge fragmentation in music consumption. Yeah, there is. You, you cannot say... Why well, silos is, across You board. can't say, silos. oh, I, I already have 1,000, you know, views of a video of my video on TikTok. That means my song has blown. My G. No, you, it might just be on TikTok. Yeah, it's just on TikTok. There. Have, you, have you tried to find out why it is blowing up on TikTok? Have you found out where it is blowing up on it's TikTok? Blowing Can up? I give you an example? I mean... Love One Sister was the biggest thing in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. It was the biggest. No, not Nigeria. It was the biggest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. But Nigeria didn't give a fuck. Maybe not didn't give a fuck, but you know what I mean. We weren't paying in attention terms of until the world. The song blew it. up a year prior to the world discovering it. So we had already jammed it. So when people were people were like, wait, ah. Love was this blowing up. Okay, nice. <laughs> Let me blow your mind. Do you remember this reminiscence tune, Burushaga? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What if I told you that the song at some point picked up some major numbers somewhere in Latin America? What? But nobody was paying attention to it in Nigeria. It's the same because thing. Because I enjoyed it. So it was yeah. just the, the, the vibe. Digital is a scary it's, thing. It's, it but is, I, I bro, also think scary. that it's a tool. Like you said, people might, your song, like, or like you said, your song might be blowing up on TikTok. But outside TikTok, people might not know your song. At all. Or know and, you. Or know you. You might and, be a TikTok superstar. And, and, that's, it. and that's fine. <laughs> but you can also now use that tool or that popularity to now push or penetrate into other markets. Yeah, because 100%. we cannot deny the leverage. fact that you can yeah. leverage on that. And it can, we, can, we can't also deny the fact that from that, it might start a, a thing where it begins to penetrate into other Regions. spaces. Is, yes. Like TV, like yes, radio. I can't yes. even lie. When it comes to radio... Radio will play a song when it's popular. On for now, some radio in, stations in now. Lagos. No. In Lagos. In, in Lagos. 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 Yes. yes. So now, everybody and also, radio also has KPI. They want numbers, to, ratings. They want they want ratings. Yeah, of course not. They want people to listen to their song. They want to, they listen to, to their the radio show. station. They want the place to they want a situation where everything that is popping can be heard on radio. I think mm-hmm. that's also one of the that's one of the things that started the problem, yeah, yeah. which is that everybody wanted to be the one providing the popular stuff, stuff yeah. because of ratings. Because they feel like with good ratings, good they, ads, good ads, good because revenue. they feel like if you're not playing the popular stuff and you're only the playing, has yes, you're only playing the emerging or not as popular songs. Nobody's listening. Nobody's to going show. to listen. Do you understand? So they want to be the hub so where the people music can. music is a foil for the show. It's the foil for the show. So be like, yes. no, please give us popular songs. Nobody breaking, breaking. I want to fair break, artists, break, break. 
they also want to get the numbers. So I feel like that, that was one of the problems. So, I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I don't, I, I I don't, don't think, remember. I don't, I don't think it's a radio. F- I think the way they ran radio, yeah, I hear you. But I think. I will ready. Can ah, I get, can I get mixes here? Just please. We are getting cocktails, bro. Ayana, right, let's go! Official let's shit for shit off. Please, some liquor in the system. Let's lose. When the remix is in the system. This, this podcast ain't no is zero conditions, man. Man. Please, 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 please. You love it, Abi? Yeah, bro. Oh you love it? Yeah, let's, let's You want to come back? Yeah, if you invite me. Okay. She might need strippers. Melody, <laughs> now. Turn off the lights. No, turn off which lights. Like Put the two poles in the middle. Come on. But we won't use Naira. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. The people that watch this show yeah. will have me inside court. Yeah, we'll just transfer. There are some people that watch this show. Oh my God. We'll do transfer. We'll that do I can't, transfer. No, no, no. I'm not even... I can't be spending my money. Anyhow. I can watch. I even when I watch, I... You, so you, you will you will spray money. <laughs> so we put that their name starts with a B. Ah, uh, Mutonani, I know you. Uve te so do Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Eh, eh. Eh, ikpara, ikpara. Thank you very much. Melody. God bless you. Melody knows the people that I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Please, leave me out. People that their name starts with a B. I leave me out of If yeah. I be, you know. You are, you are attached, Pele. I'm, I'm sorry. No, Please. Anyway. Strip up. Mr. Two. Two. <laughs> Two in the middle here. Yeah, no, one year one at the bar. Many the talk as we Yeah, really with glitters sounds like, and everything. Sounds like Doctor DJ Kali will be interested. Uh, uh, even, the, even though that motherfucker is married with two kids, can you imagine? I, 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 I think that I don't know, man. What? I, I think we are talking the radio, the conversation. Let's let's quickly yeah, run. Yeah, I, I feel like. So yeah. what? What? Say what? No, that? continue. So I just feel like radio. Radio. It's not. It's not an incidence of radio being at fault. It's no, just it's an incident of life. Yeah, yeah like yes, that's no, that's it. It's, it's so not what radio can now become. <laughs> what we are witnessing right now is podcasts are kind of sort of yeah. Well, doing the, things. The, 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 in my opinion, everything. It's still, everything, it's still, it's still, it's still, the, the still the very, impact is still very little. It's still very. Li- it's maybe it's not as little. pronounced between beyond like. So in Lagos, for mm. example, mm-hmm. Lagos, Abuja, cosmopolitan cities. Yes. Now there are other uni students, advanced, upward mobile generation. The the percentage of Nigeria, I think about 52, 53, 54%. It's under 19 percent. It's under mm-hmm. 19 years old, mm-hmm. right? So it means that about 70 percent of the country is under 30. Yes. So that's a lot of fucking that's young people. That you so in a country capture. of about 225 people, you are looking at about 140. 31 and 40 that is under 30 mm-hmm. that's a lot of young people that's people a huge that were demographic. born that means they were born after 19 uh, after, after the 1994 world cup <laughs> after the 94 world cup yes does that make sense yes, it so does. it means that the reality then becomes what you can't control it's a, it's a lot of people that respond to what the world is yes. so people also respond to what the world is showing them mm-hmm. so before I used to watch my DSTV for like a lot of things, right? I still watch my DSTV for my football. When I need to watch certain shows, you I switch. still go on my DSTV. Yeah. But I discovered that I'm becoming more of an internet baby. Not your fault. Does that make sense? It's, it's not con- my fault. It's convenient. It's convenient. It's like, convenient. As a matter of fact, That's the word. I convenient. I watch my TV. I pay for my DSTV. Yeah. But I watch my DSTV online. For no fucking reason. I have a decoder. You, for, it's, that's why it's, it's convenient. So everyone needs to adapt. Everyone has to adapt. I, I also think it's a problem. I also think it's a problem. I feel like we spend too much time on, on on social media. That's that, that is they are trying to let us drink. That is as a like result this. of. Um, I love it. If, I mean, if you look at the way technology has has evolved we spend too in much the time last. On in the last the widow or that's just the reality of things. It's just the reality of things. Melody, niggas spend too much time on radio. See, niggas yeah. spend too much time at the rave. You know what they, what they call jump? No, I'm not playing jump. I don't think it's but healthy. Wale will know what they call jump. Of course I do. I don't think it's healthy. <laughs> Why the amount of time that we spend on social media Screen is time. not healthy. Screen no, it's not healthy. Screen time, the consumption of yeah, information. Information, information. It's too value. much. Information of it's not healthy. It's too much. It's not healthy. But Melody, we are from a different... So our generation were very lucky. Right? We are at the intersection of too much. We are at the intersection of MTV. We are at the intersection of dot com bubble. I'm telling dot you. Dot com bro. bust. Social media rise. 
and Facebook, missed one TikTok, thing. Snapchat, Why, YTK TikTok, buffs. Y2K. We are at the intersection of every, we experienced every everything. fucking thing. It's everything. Too, also, as, as if now, let's not even move to the bad side. We, we experienced horrible economy. We ah, experienced... We saw our parents go... Like, dollar when some of us were born. Are you joking? Was, it, I think in the 80s. Dollar and Naira were still... too much. I don't even at, understand at, how we're still at, going. At on some, on yes, some level. Yes. Well, you can come right? with your time. Now everything on the scatter. Our, this is our generation. We're not... No, no, no. I've gone through too much. Sure. Let's talk about Odogu silencer. What? Can I, we I, leave Odogu silencer? I can I get, get, can I, I get a mixer? I, I, I you think you have, Don't lie. You want to talk about it. So. No, 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 guys. No jokes aside. No jokes aside. I feel like so much happened on social media over the... Week. Too much. Too Way much. too much. In the I last two weeks. I left. Yes. I left. Much. I had to leave at all. Too much point. happened. Like, it's just yeah. like... It's too much. The problem that I have is with this Odogo silence ad, you know, Mata. the wedding... They don't show that brand on the show. Please. <laughs> Thank you. With the weddings, with all of this. Collect our cup. I I'll think that... <sighs> we do too much. As a generation or as a people? As a people, like we don't know when to stop. In the imperial words of a person called <laughs> Excel Joab, we're a generation of oversharers. We do too much. It's like we do way too much. There is no reason people know this much about, about anybody. You. There's no way it is it, okay. It, it, it's, it's. Oh, Melody, you agree with me now? No, no, no. Wow. No, 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 no. There's no, no, no. There's no wow. way. No, I don't agree with you with your own opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, no. this is a moment of victory no, that's a lie. That's for a lie. all the masculinity, what, what for all the black people, <laughs> no. for the shut the fuck up, Jerry. For the conservative people, what for the center left people. Allow, allow the woman. Allow the woman. Done. What Sorry. I'm saying and what you are saying is totally different. I, what I'm saying is that there is no way it is okay for people to be disinvested in other people's information. We know too much about other people. Yeah, no boy, like you're, you're too kilo. You're too if you're not sharing, if you're not sharing it. That's not true. That's not true. Man, let me Even the things you don't share, they go and look for. No, Kini. no. Let me let me give let me give you a perspective. That's why we have all these faceless blogs. Are you sharing with them? They go and investigate. <laughs> who know? Who know? No. Hello, no twer- joking. Twer- How does this love start? Yeah, hello, twer- 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 twer. Did they share those, that information? <laughs> no. What I what I am saying is to invest it. When you think about the news that this lover carries, it's usually about people who are already in the news. Yes, but they, but they've not shared that side of them. But no, no. Why are you looking? No, for it? what I'm saying is, yeah, you are already in news. Yes, Some you're part in the of news. your life, private of your life. Is in the news. Of that part of your life is in the dark bang bang. You just don't know yet, mm-hmm. right? Me now, why is nobody coming to carry my relationship? Oh, this is Motorani's girl because I am not even Motorani. I need a relationship. Yes, I am. Oh, sorry. Right? <laughs> you 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 don't you don't. Nobody's going to come and investigate my life because I don't. I don't make it public. What you need to understand or need to hear. Now, I think what happened with that situation. I hear you, Melody. I don't agree. I hear you. I hear you completely about the fact that we seem to invested in gossip Are you? and other people's mm-hmm. business. But Me, it's I always like been like this. Mm-hmm. Do you know why? Across human history, human beings have been interested in things that don't fucking concern them. It, 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 Soft Cell magazine had gossip it, it's, blogs. It's true. It's if your life will bring, if your life will bring clicks. No, they no, will be invested. No. Do you think if you were whiskey, they won't pick, they won't bring out who you no, are dating? So you, you, think, you think I'm not important? You're not. They're not relevant to the wow. grand scheme of things. If in things, if a letter were carry you, who will click it? Everybody will be there. Talon, who is this? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A letter yeah. will say, "Hi guys, um, this <laughs> number will be trying to introduce you to the comment section. Say, hey, money. <laughs> And with zero conditions, them who cares? Who knows you? Who do you understand? Who's happy? You? Whiskey is one of the celebrities that people that people talk about Iblis. and say that. Wait now. Why is nobody carrying new bliss? Whiskey, you bliss post his wife and his child religiously. Melody, you're contradicting yourself. You're no, saying when you don't share. Wait, and you're saying when you don't share, people no, will not look for no, information. No, no, no. That's okay. not what I'm saying. I'm liking this. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying is, is yeah. If you make your life meal. For media in a way you, re- you make it meal. media is going to feed on it especially when there's something to feed on do you understand wait give me a second i will, f- I will flood your arguments continue just give me a second okay now in the case of sharon yeah. ordinarily what she's doing i'm happy for her she's mm-hmm. married i don't have we move from yeah congratulations to her. because this is a woman that she's 33 She's from Benue State, which means she don't there's hustle. a lot of people in her life that are going to be te- They would have been shaming her for not having a husband at and she's pretty. And she's a gorgeous babe. She's successful, pretty. all she's of pretty. that. Right? 
Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go on a break. We'll be right back. Everything you miss. Conversation is still going on, no? Everything you miss will come back out on streaming platforms. Podcast platforms. Where you get your podcast? YouTube, Spotify, Audio Mac. Um, <laughs> Apple Podcast. <laughs> <Go play. laughs> and everywhere you get your podcast. Um, this episode was brought to you by Shiva Shiva's Rigo. Rigo. And oh, everything nice. on oh, Friday nice. at 10 p.m. We are live on Pop Central Channel 189 on DSTV. You can still get at us. Zero conditions pod at gmail.com. All the people that we missed last, all the people that were meant to come to us last, will come and claim their bottles. Come and claim your bottle. I will drink it. And Fulu people are giving away free bottles. Fulu and oh, who's the other guy now? I have to find it. I can't remember his name. Come and collect your bottle. I'll mention your name now. If you don't collect your bottle, Do I get Fulu, a free bottle? T- text me. Wow. So, no. Wow. Hey, you're wow. too rich. Wow. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're back very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our break. We have been talking about Odogu Silencer. I can't say to you. Oh, so that that. I just want say to you. And Sharon Woke. Zero condition. No, let's see. Bye. Let's see. Sharon Woke. So you understand? So, you see why you gun at him? She fast week. Regard. Regard. Blame it. I mean, I spent seven years in Ibadan. I like it. So I gotta give shout out to you. There's a show on, in our career that is the, before I get there. Uh, we're back. Everything you miss is going to be out on Monday on our streaming platforms. Everywhere you get a podcast, including Audio Mac. Yes. Um, <laughs> shout out to Juwan that plugs us on Audio Mac with our. <laughs> um, this episode was brought to you by Shiva Go and we're on Pop Central TV. Our esteemed partner channel one is nine on dstv thank you very much let's get back to the conversation what was i meant to say the other time no, before, yeah. before you go into your AKT commercial let's wrap up this sharon so we're not moving up and down so sharon there's, there's the, nothing, the sharon nothing. situation is Mel- what has been posting his wife nothing Mel- has come no, out no no no, no wait, what wait. you are saying so it's a two-pronged conversation what you are saying is not wrong but it's an idealistic viewpoint but the problem is you and i can't we our viewpoints can't be shared by other people for example I don't like the concept of posting shit. I don't. People have had a, you know this. This is what I'm talking about. People have had a problem with me not Mommy, posting. You post about anything. your work. Eh? eh, that's work. Yeah, but that's work. That's work. So don't say you have a problem with posting shit. You have a no, 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 no. No, I have a problem with posting anything about my life. That's not true because you post your work. Yeah, you but that's work. Work. That's work. Is not my work life. Work is not a part of your work. life. No, you are not getting it. No. No. That's and why, the reason I, that's why, why I'm posting the work thing. is because my the work that I'm talking about is a public thing that I do. I work in media. I work in the music industry. The thing I create is for public consumption. Consumption. It yeah. can't be it's, hidden. It's, you understand? That's and fair. even on those situations, do you know the amount of things that I worked on that people don't know it's me? That's fair. So, but no. <laughs> Sharing is not the problem. So no, no. Okay. I'm, so, so it's the consumption the part that you have. My own is if there is something to be found, it, it will be found. found. So there are so I don't many people that have posted. Jockey, there are so many families. I don't there are so many you. unions I don't that are with without melody, drama. Don't you think you are contradicting yourself with the fact that you are saying? If there's something to be found, and it should, it should be found, and that people should mind. No, it will be found. I not think it, it should will be. It will be found. I know. I know. But you are saying if something to be found, but. If there's something to be found, if people were minding their business, would they find it? People mind their business is just me talking. That, that can never happen. People will never mind their business. Yeah, I do not. I generally do not agree to the idea of hiding is protecting. No. No. Mm. I don't think so. No, hiding. I, I, I don't. Hiding no, 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 no. Hiding is protecting. I don't think. So. No, no. Let me. It depends let me tell on you the why. circumstances. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Melody, it depends let on me the tell circumstances. You why. For example, me, for example, me as a person, when I was a journalist, and still now, right. I just whiskey Devsi can just wake up on a Saturday morning and drag me. Yes. For oh, 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 shop yes. Like it's yes. just it's just hello, so, hello, hello, hello. So so let me call imagine, your full government's name. Mutolani Alake. You didn't have sense. Alake. Yeah, no. uh, yes, Alake. No. Hey, I always always wanted to know the Alake. 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 I can't put my life in a situation like that. And that's no. fine. So, 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 mm-hmm. pro, that's the concept of protecting, right? I can't put myself in a situation like that. I can't put myself in a situation where, you, remember the day that we did the rap, the rap list episode and some people were coming for me? Yeah. Imagine my relationship was public. Yeah. They will come you, for you the you person. You still do rap list. What? You still no, do no. rap conversation. Like last year. 
huh. right? So, when we did it, and people came, people fucking, they someone literally caught something I I, I said out of context, like it wasn't. No, it's normal. Context, people, right? people, and then do now imagine people that were coming for me that day. And my relationship, do you think they will not come for my person? Of course they will. Now, so in those situations, pro, pro, um, privacy is protection, mm-hmm. right? It is, mm-hmm. right? Because in that situation, because of my lifestyle. Because of the life that I've lived, and that's fine, right? But in in the situation, Very understandable. In the situation, mm-hmm. and then another situation with where privacy can be protection, it can even apply to the Sharon situation. Do you know why? Wait, let me give you. Hey, Jaffi, Sharon, le. No, let me give. God bless I, our marriage. Do you understand? I, 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 I wish I the best. I wish I the best. The reason, to be honest, I wish I all the best. The reason why I wish I all the best. The reason why I am saying it is because I have heard some side. I, I saw someone do a seventy something fast story. No, seventy, but you get what I mean. Like the plumber did a story some days ago. I saw the story, mm-hmm. but the story didn't really have any facts. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. I I didn't see anything tangible, tangible. <laughs> to hold on to. Yeah, it just felt like someone that knew knows about this person and maybe has something against the person. Oh, so, oh because the person this just person, wants to talk. Where I really started to roll my eyes was where the person said he's broke. Boy, he's a senior manager at Verizon. I can't look you like. Do you know how much it is to be a senior manager at Verizon? Is, uh, Are you fucking broke. mad? That's that's my point. Is like internet will always say whatever. Well, people will always say. You whatever. understand? People, I to me when I saw the entire drama right. when. The thing when I saw the first thing I saw yeah. when I saw them I was like, oh my god, this is a beautiful thing. Oh my god, the man looks nice. Oh, but I was on the Odogo Silenta bandwagon. When they started coming to all this, like, bang, 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 just you like, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pass to the side. People will always have something. But, uh, and all this, uh, I feel like, hey, maybe you should not, nothing. I, we're always so quick to make things a teachable moment, but just calm not, down. Nothing will get to There will be moments where People are going to do what they want. People, 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 people will be people. I'll just like, I beg, move. What's the next yes. thing that is trending? I beg, let's move. I don't even want to follow trends anymore. Just like, I beg, the only thing I follow on social media now is Liverpool. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah. Uh, music industry. There was Who is not, dropping new music, yeah. music Friday? You understand? Yeah. I'm just I'm like a music beg, Friday. Beg. God, man, that's not I drop my opinions on basketball and I Even now, what's the ban in Twitter? Oh, really? I have a band. By the powers that be. That's 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 new. Now that's that's that's, well, that's, that's conversation that's... will have next, you know. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. New music Friday, man. What's going on? No, there? no, before before we get there, <laughs> Melody and I were having a conversation in our group chat. Okay. Who's the greatest Nigerian artist of all time? Ah greatest Nigerian artist of all time. God damn it. Bro, that question is hard. Is it? Yes. I think there's only one candidate. Ah. I think there's only one person. In terms of influence? In terms of so let's use let's let's metrics. use let's get what some are, yardsticks. Are I need, I need to, yeah, please, please. I, I need to know what, what are the metrics or your impact sticks? has to be one. Okay. Discography has to be one. Ah. Commercial success to it, to an extent has to be one. No, you're not there's nothing like to an extent. Exactly. Oh, definitely has to be there. It has to be there. Longevity has I'm to be one. I'm even trying to find the conversation we're having about. Ah. Longevity has to be one. Ah. And then I think the final thing has to be... Okay, I think we're good. Those four. So, impact, impact, discography, and longe- in- lo- commercial longe- success, impact. longevity. Huh. I think I think those things are very important. Discography. I think only I think there's only one candidate for this. Two Baba. No. Bella. No, you say okay, so of so time. so so I I my mind went impact, to impact discography, commercial success. What's the last one? It, longevity. Long, lo, longevity. So I, my mind went to to Abameda. I think we should use in in, in but because Africa. of we should we we do not why I say you okay. think we should we, the, we, we should use what I, no, I was saying that we should do it in modern alphabet because if we remove modern alphabet and just say of all time it's of a all big time conversation yeah it's massive. a big, big, big because well, there, there, that, we don't do you have we don't have do we have records of how many you know proper data of how many records yeah. Baba yeah, sold we, we, we can no we not numbers but the impact is too much the impact, we the see, impact but we don't I have will not numbers. lie the discography the impact insane. the commercial success is good the, the com- see here the hmm. impact forever impact the the impact Plus commercial success, With yeah, of Baba is, is was and will always be 
As a matter of fact, that's you why know, I don't think will always be ridiculous. Can contend with no, it, it's ha- because you see the thing is, here's how deep that commercial success has been. It, it has gotten so deep that even without him being alive, God rest his soul. He's been dead for 20, 20, 20, 20 28 years. Baba's name still commands. He's been crowd. bigger in Western and European world since he since, died. Do you understand? Yes. I'm, after he died, it's, even way, be, way bigger it's, than It's huge. And so, another thing that like continues. Shout out to Tuba Baba, but. Another yeah, bros. Actually, calm think, down. Calm down. Another uh, thing, sorry, Tonani, on the Fela mm, thing. Another thing that continues to cement. Where is Richard? Another yeah. thing that continues to cement, you know, Baba's his, influence. his impact yeah. is the growth of Afrobeat as a genre yeah it has impacted because the more the genre grows no, the, the more the genre grows and the more the genre is the umbrella for nigerian music yes the more his popularity continues to Increase. grow because people are going to continue to ask for the history why that name and then they're going to where find him they're going to find him mm-hmm. so the more this afrobeat movement continues to grow the more afrobeat remains our umbrella term for nigerian music no, we're, the we're more forgetting his impact one thing, is going to no. Um, shout out to the entire Kuti family. Shout out to them. Because it's it's to But if Nigeria gets better, what would the Kuti sing about? What if, would the Kuti sing about? If Nigeria gets better. So here's the thing. It's not what the Kutis would sing about. His song, their songs will consistently be a reminder of our growth as a people and as a nation. Will it? Yes. yes because it will show... Sorry, sorry. It will, those, those, those years, those those, years, it will show years, where we are coming, coming from. from. And where we've gotten to, but and where we should never go back to. What would they think about? That will be left for them to, to determine. I think that they, the, the, that will be that will be, that will be the, the, let, let's leave that for them to determine. I agree. We are, we are, do, going, do you we are going very soon. Let's let's leave that so for them to determine. It's it's um okay. it's uh to, we are going to it's it. hard to to say oh. Yeah, they will probably sing about this. They'll probably sing about that. But interestingly, it's music. You can never run out of things to sing about. Are you sure? Yes. And also, when it comes to Nigeria... It is Afrobeat. Sorry, it is Afrobeat. Funny, you can never run out of things to sing about. Funny, let's say, even if it gets better, how better can it get in Nigeria? Okay, no. wait, 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 let's, 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 oh God, I that is not fair. Melody, no, melody, 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 it's not me. I beg you. It's how not be- me. It's how, not me. How, how better can you get? It, Wait. It will we get. We didn't even talk about that national attention on this episode. Yes, Moni, Mopinu. Tony, please, we did. Oh, yeah, sorry. Now, mm-hmm. what we need to, um, about the Af- the greatest Nigerian artist of all time. Like I actually don't think, even t- between 99 and now, I don't think it's too bad anymore. No, so why why did I mention? Oh, okay. Now that you say that, but, but since you bring you brought it to that from time, line. no, it's, it's no longer. It's no longer to Baba. No longer because to Baba. and if it's no longer to Baba, it was for a long time. It was yes, for a very long time. But the and argument, the only, the only thing that is taking him out of that is just um, the only people. The only thing, the only reason he is the lack of consistency. Huh. Not really. No. In the Are you music? Sure? No. It was consistent when it was. I'm saying the only thing that's taking him out of that conversation now. Now. I'm not saying think then. So. No, I don't think so. What will you say? It's you think just if he were still dropping music at the frequency that he was at the time, yeah. do you think he won't be in this conversation? No, he won't. No. Because. And if those songs were doing commercially no, great. No, he won't. Too Baba is talented. Yeah. yeah. I gotta give it's it possibly the. Is the so if we're talking about the progenies of stylistic evolution in Nigerian music of Afro pop of Afro pop music, right? Baba Since ninety nine, I would say is Two Face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say is Wandeko. Yes, mm-hmm. Wandeko is what we are doing now. To a larger extent, is the progeny of whatever the fuck we are doing now. Moshi to Mo it is the progeny. Classic album. Though. Um, I think to a larger extent, I think Banga did a lot. The mm-hmm. bunch. Bangali did a lot because I think he's not that I think his album wo- is one of the templates of what Afrobeats has become. 
I think nice is also in that conversation. Yes, he is. Not think. He yeah. is. Nice is definitely in that conversation. He is. He is. I think another person that's in that conversation is Timaya because of the street hop angles. What street hop has become? True Story is the first genuine street hop classic. That we know in the music. An album. Yeah. It's the classic it's album that single. we have. That's, an album. It's the progeny of street hop music. And street music is what... I mean, maybe not... A lot of people are going to argue that, okay... It's from PH. I bought the Alab the um Ajegole boys. When you say street up, if you say he's the pro he's the what? Progeny. He's the progeny of street up. Where will you put Terry G? Do you know why I'm saying it's him? The person that produced him at the time was K Solo. Who came first? K Solo. K Solo. No, Terry G Timaya. and Timaya. Timaya came first. Timaya Terry G first. was already around as a producer. Yes. But Timaya blew up. Blew at up the time. before. Okay. And then whatever success he had was what became and K Solo produced him. And the, you see the Pangolo the aspect of K Solo's music mm-hmm. that blew up is what Terry G pivoted upon. But when you when we are and, saying and sh- you know you know and you know that K Solo and Terry G are both Ijushaga mm-hmm. artists mm-hmm. people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And that Pangolo music in a woman delay cha cha right that sound. Tunu, 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 tunu. Would you really Terry call G that just, Pangolo? That's, that's what it was music. That's what it was. So I hear that it is called Pangolo music, right? Yeah. Street up music. Yeah. But in the if we were if we were like comparing it to the kind of Pangolo that Terry G did, yeah. will you still compare that Pangolo to the It's the same thing. Is it? Let me, let me no. so so it's melody. Same. So lo, yes. so so let, let's break it down. So, okay, while you go. Terry G only just took what K Solo had done. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Stripped it. And, and then added his own style, added his own, his own and then now layered it with, with his something God. else. That, that, that was, yeah, it. That it, was it was still the same, the same. Thing. That was the, still the same thing. Yeah, you could, you could. The feel sound it. was, it the, was same. the same. The style it was, was not the same. Yeah, it was. It was but the sound, that was sound was, 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 was And then that. In, 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 interestingly, interestingly, that 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 that, that, that vibe. Ooh, that you every Alaba mix you buy, number one. It was 100, 100 songs. It, depend, it depends on the street of that. Number you, one to on the 30, you, buy. you would DJ, hear if that. If it's DJ Kami, 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 say, but at least you would hear that vibe. Kami, 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 DJ Kaba, Goma, Kama. Yeah, it. It was always there. This guy, so in fa- in, in fact, that it got to the point where if a particular Alaba mix didn't have it, it didn't sell well on the streets. Yeah. So they would all, people would always look out for it. Hello, hello. Hello, Simbe. Hello, Simbe. Hello, Simbe. Hello, Simbe. That was it. So you'd mm. go to it was normal. Yeah. Mm. It was it was there. It was ah, well, so you can't, you can't you can't erase K Solo away ah, from, shout out to from, Solo. Shout from out to what K-Solo. Terry G became. And the fact that both of them are Ijushaga brethren. All both of them are Ijushaga that area. All of mm-hmm. them are, they are the uh, oh yeah. Of those, of Daniels those. even jumped on it. Yeah. That was what yeah. Daniels used. But, you, so, but, yes. but there, there can also be the argument of his street hop is more of like the potaco kind of sound and not the so not mm, the no no, no melody no. so there's a part of the production and it's part of the style now what simaya was doing stylistically mm-hmm. not sound the sound is the same stylistically was a lot of ph but even the cadences this, um, interesting. Um, this uh, the same line that came uh, to mind. Was was the song? Was as uh, a as a carry call? Uh, no, that's not the song I'm looking for. There was a song that was on that. There were there was there, there were commercial songs on that that you can draw a straight line between them and what in my became because mm-hmm. Terry is also a Benue boy. He just got yeah, Benue, yes, yeah. right. So you can draw a straight line between the cadences and the style. Now I'm not saying Terry repeated Timaya 100. percent No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, Terry G is a product of that. Because it's a theory of Hegel. Shout out to Shego and Kondi that broke this down to me so, some years ago. The theory of Hegel, in sociology, of course, you know Hegel. Right? It's a theory of Hegel. You can't deduct a subsequent phenomenon from what existed before. It's not going to happen. You, you can't. It will always be there. It will always be there. It's just It'll like there. when Bonaboy said, I, nobody inspired me. Nobody. No, no, oh, no. You can't say that. <laughs> you yes, can't. yes. You are good at what you, you do. You are good at what you are down. great. You are My probably going to be top three, top Bonaboy, four, sit down, top five of down. all time. Nigerian history. But you can't say that. 
because at the end of the day, you sample a lot of classic shit. But aside from that, your style itself is a combination of two baba and one deco, right? No, people don't date there before with you. a lot of um, <laughs> dancehall music and rap music. Ra- yeah. That's what you are. They're, they're now tossing a bit of R and B. R and B into it. So you can't you can't essentially say that. No. So what I'm saying in essence is, I think in my opinion, I think the greatest of this era is Wiz. In my opinion. Hmm. In my opinion. I think the greatest of 1990 now is Wiz. Wiz Kid. Yeah, I think so. Ah. I think so. My opinion. Some people don't agree. My opinion. I know some people don't agree. Some people don't agree. When you look at hmm. The longevity of Wiz is insane. Now, let's even say maybe Bonner is number one. You can say Wiz is number two. Wiz dropped his debut album in 2011, blood. Now, let's say Bonner, even though Bonner is number one now, Bonner wasn't a slouch at the start of his career. Mm-hmm. Like to party, his debut album yeah. were great moves. True. Shout out to Aristocrats, right? But after the debut album, he had the South Africa and the Ghana feature run, all of that stuff. But he wasn't Wiz. He wasn't David. He wasn't Olamide. He wasn't even Tiwa. But by the time he released um, Outside, the album, he went into an astronomical stratosphere. The evolution was but clear. What's not yeah. going to happen in... And Outside came out in 2018, January, yes. I believe. What's going to happen to the seven years of dominance before then? When allow me, they won't the album of the year. Hmm. <laughs> so yes, if you're what's going to happen that year that Tiwa won Best African Act at the EMS? So obviously, if you're having the conversation about over a period of time, you yeah. cannot take out Highlight success a period. that yeah. is just like maybe two, three yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take like the entire Every, thing. Entire, like, everything. Like, yeah. Ten years, you're like twenty yeah. years, you're yeah. like thirty years. So you that, must that, have you must have a holistic approach. Yeah, yeah. holistic approach. Exactly. Yeah. So have with Wiz, Wiz did it bigger in the first seven years of Bernard's Bonner, career. By fault. But wait, do I just remember something? So some kind of people featured Wiz Kid in his early days. Wiz is and they are gone. Wiz, hmm. yes, now, yeah, Jesus. and he's still here, yeah, yeah. 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 LAS rode on whiskey to come into the industry, Mr. Easy rode on whiskey to come into the industry. Have you forgotten? No, so, so yes, it did. No, for Mr. Easy, Mr. Easy was already big in Ghana, he was already big in Ghana, not maybe not big, was he, big had his, he had a thing, he had a thing in Ghana, Ghana. but wait, yeah, when he, he, he had a following, the year that he, he had, had a cosign. The whiskey co signed the love. Wait, of course, the whiskey co signed did so much for Mr. Izzy. Yeah. But before the whiskey co signed, he yeah. had a year where he was mm, ruling Nigeria. Type. Are you joking? No, 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 no. But by the mm. time. That year. No, no, Melody. That's Mr. Izzy. Was it 2017? No, no, no. that is year. Yeah, 2016. 15. 15. 15. I can't remember the year. But when he gave us skin tight, gave us the. Yeah, Lagos but, but the thing is, by that point, the, the, not, the thing that was bringing him into the industry was that he was signed to Stabo. Was he already at that time? Yeah, he was. By the time he won. Best um, um, next rated. Yes. The conversation was it was already it when was he skin when thing. he gave us skin ties. Was it science with whiskey already at the time? But that was a narrative. I don't know if it was. I think there, were, no. there, were, there were conversations around. We, we, I had whiskey and announced him at that time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there were conversations. So. I remember there were conversations so. ah. around. It. I, I even remember turning on the radio one time and listening to an OAP introduce Mr. Izzy as Whiskey's artist. Whiskey's protege. Yeah, and I'm uh, like, ah, shit, but what is he signing? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Izzy I don't know if they officially signed. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, but the co-sign like, conversation, yeah, but the co-sign conversation was, 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 there. There. It was already there. It was there. Was there already? It was yeah. there. Yeah, okay. yeah, it was there. I remember, so, I remember very well. So, the reason why I'm going to give Wiz is, even in this era, the only song that's bigger than Essence is Calm Down. Hmm. When you say big, are you talking about the numbers now? Charting position in the US, crossover success. Crossover success. Like, what the era that we are is the era of crossover. Yes. Right? The only thing that Wiz is not doing as much as Bonner right now is the stadium shows. That's the only thing. Uh, Wiz, but Wiz, Wiz, he's Wiz, not a slouch. Wiz, Wiz will tell you that he's not interested. Exactly. But he did a stadium show in the UK. Right? It's not like he's not doing stadium shows. Wiz did back to back O2 Arena. Back to sold back out. Nice. Sold three out. nights. That's sold, sold out. Second, sold, sold out. Whatever. Sold out. Sold out. You gotta give it to Wiz, man. You understand? You gotta give so, it to Wiz. Hmm. I think Wiz is the ghost of this era. <laughs> you, you gotta give it to Wiz. <laughs> and to still stay really relevant. 
Man, Baba, drop this thing. I know say you get, yeah, bah, you get so bullets. The, the drop place bah. where I'm drop this thing. I think you and Wale can answer that for me. Is I'm trying to check this of this era, who is going to follow? Is is it David or is it Bon? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Because because, I mean, time and chance. Okay. Time and chance. Um. The way music consumption has evolved, especially mm-hmm. post COVID, there is no there is no proper proper template to say, so this album is gonna do this and you're gonna achieve this and this is going to happen and then we can go on to this particular phase again. It, and it, plug and play. It, it's, it's gone. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen, it's gone. Yeah. It is gone. I mean, we woke up one day. Everything changed. What's it changed, man? Baba, we fucking woke up one day and everybody and everybody started hearing Tyler. Talon Tunje Tyler. Talon Je Tyler. We woke up one day and one babe started telling us things that we knew but just we didn't express it. Thames. Wale. Sorry, give me a second. Um, our cocktail guy is finally in the building. Shout out to Richard. Shorty Day. What's the deal? Ah! What's cocktail! Hey, you want to come in? Please. Please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, please, please do. Solani, you want to take the bottle? Yes, you can take it. Yeah, I'll take the bottle. Ah, yeah, come and take it. Wait, wait. Pour small so shivers. On, the, on this conversation, we are saying that. Shivers. shivers. We are saying that. She vast, please. She vast. She vast. She vast. Thank you very much. Yeah. Tolani, when you guys are saying that when it comes to numbers, mm. an Afrobeat song, like there is no Afrobeat, the biggest Afrobeat song after Rema. Rema's calm globally. down. Globally. Globally with mm. numbers. Yeah. What about Love One Thing? I'm talking about That's songs. A That's not true. No. Um, so. What's Love One Thing saying? The energy. numbers of that song. Yeah, the calm down is the biggest. Calm down. I know. I'm thinking about the numbers. Calm down is the biggest. Calm After the calm down, there's no one thing. Numbers. Numbers wise, and yeah. I think spread wise, yeah. I hear you. Numbers so I think the good. difference between love one thing and ca- I think you are right actually. Yeah. Lo- calm, um, love one thing and essences. I feel like essence was more US a US thing. Yes. And a UK thing mm-hmm. by incidence, but c- even though love one thing was not as big in the US as essence i think Nobody. it had a bit of a spread and yes, they did. So it was I think, ridiculous I think, so. I think love one system might be the but i was talking about it in the context because of, of the like, artist yeah that's yeah, yes. because of the artist yeah. now mm-hmm. i think that's just the only thing i was missing with that yeah. with the love but one. that's a good clarification you know i like that yeah. i actually didn't ha- think ha- about it hello historian historian Take it. Uh, uh, take your flowers. Or oh, ask your next question. Ask your next question. No, 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 there's no next question. But I'm, I, I just think that the reason when you know now if we have this conversation, there's a lot yeah. of conversation around Borna because, like you said, in recent years, Borna's run has been ridiculous. That's what they're saying. So you can't, it you, can't be you denied. Can't, you can't. You know how they said there's kind of ogo. Sorry, the kind of money that you have now that you raise your years of poverty. Yes, no. Mm-hmm. Normal now. See that drive, that part that you say it was not... But it wasn't was popping. Not, I, th- I think the success now, it, it do be raising it. Yes, I think no. for him, yes. Because the run is ridiculous. Yeah, for him, yes. Yes! I, but, don't, I don't remember his non-glory days. Because no, glory, no, it's, it's not like he didn't have glory. He did. He my, my point is, no, I'm just saying that in the context of this oh, conversation, like, hmm. I don't remember the days... Because he's not shining. I don't remember the days where people say that he was not shining because he's so shining. Shine. 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 He do be so blinding. So it covers everything. He don't cover. He don't cover. You see those years. But when we're not having conversation about, like, I hear that part. Yeah. Legend and all of Legend, that. You have to bring greatest, everything. All of, you, it's a that. summation of whatever has been happening. Bonaboy is... No, but if we're is. judging by the last seven years, Bonaboy gaps everybody. Oh, uh, eh? You say gap. Why are you underrating him? If you say that, it's pe- as per this last seven yeah. years, yeah? It's ridiculous. Baba has it's gap dwarfed. Bro, it's crazy. Man has nah. dwarfed everybody. Everybody. You, you, you nah. see, look, I know you would watch this podcast and you want to argue. Yeah, but are you one day that lives in... Hey, bra, bra, Tony that lives in Ubumosho. But forget with Davido. In the last seven years, Bonaboy has grown. 
mm-hmm. evolved, the guy. changed his style, rechanged it again, unlearned so many things to the point that his performances across the you globe. You performance at the Grammy, brother. His performances have become templates for... Gino, oh, oh. Anytime I... Bona boy will come and perform for you and you think you are eating more and more LMMG. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, are you, so are you, are you, are you normal? Yeah, so there is no way you would He's not... not so. I, th- I think one thing that Melody mentioned some time ago was the way he laughs on the stage. He's having he's so, so much fun. He's en- no, he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying like, him. He's like, he's having this, so this is me. Much this, I am fun. in my... Shout out to Whiskey Essence. Nah. Bonner. He's so good. Thank you very much. He's Shout so out to Bonner, good. Shout out to Bonner. Like, Thank you for making good music, bro. Thank you for like, making good nah. music. What? In the, if the last seven years is what we are judging greatness by, I want the gap go mental. Do you know that? Bro. So it's like don't do to bag bra Grammy. Yeah. Ah. It's, it's like when we had that conversation about music and when we said that artists, Afrobeat artists were saying that they don't want to put in a, in a box, yeah. they want to do other genres. Banaba just went and did uh, a rap, a rap thing. album. Just went a rap ca- infused album. A rap infused album, just casually. Um, yeah, I did debating. announce it. Can can I, 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 I start debating what they are saying? Do you know how casually it is? Let me quickly say that. Let me say this. Shout out to Bona Wiz and David Do. But yeah. if you're an emerging artist and you're watching this or you're listening, um, we've mentioned seven years we've mentioned 10 years we've mentioned 20 years these guys didn't wake up one day and blew yep. up over time and they different templates. created processes they unlearned they relearned they kept they going. kept hustling they changed David the narrative Do- owned Do- the narrative and they infused so many things to yeah. get to where they are yep. if you think it is about getting on playlists <laughs> I drink to your failure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Who, Thank you. When we are talking about the greatest Nigerian artists of all time, I'm going to pose you guys a very uncomfortable question. Let's go. Rank them in order of greatness. Tonani. Ah, Mtonani. Subaba. Okay. Banga. Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm Pira. And I'm Po. Ooh. Together, we are P square. Just those three. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. The band. P square. Tubaba. Tubaba. The band. P so let, square. So let's use the time frame. How many years? From what year to what? From year? 99. To what year? To now. Hmm. That's the most difficult you guys, conversation. Please. Melody, do you want to go first? I can't. I don't Why do you want to go like, first? No, you go first. Ah! <laughs> I live huh. for this shit. Um, you, ah. you want me to go first? Oh, what can I go first? You're going to go down that boat. Huh? Banga. One. Really? Third. Okay. Okay. Two baba. First, really, P square. Second, why? Here's why. Tubaba basically allowed us to reevaluate what we saw when Junior and Pretty came into the scene. I hear you. Mm. Hip hop influences. You understand? He he allowed us to enjoy the what art and essence pe- of music. Do you understand? What people like. Groups like Rough, 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 Rough and Raw, yeah. Hard, and, and the likes. And because of Tubaba, hmm. a lot of people went back to listen to all of them. All of them. Yep. Someone like me. Yep. You get. P Square hmm. gave us the vibe that we did not, we didn't know we had. And they were making them hits. And they were making Bro. hits. F- These guys F- gave us. The African version of Boys to Men. I hear you. They now sprinkled Osha. And they now, you understand? What to, what to they, now, they now brought Ibo. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Do you understand? Nah, those guys. In between the salad they were serving with Abacha and Garden Egg. They were putting, they were putting Gome. Do you understand? One guy now came it's out. Not nah. The band now came. 
the band for me, for me on the list, third but perfect dessert. I hear you. I hear you. Perfect dessert. Like, man came and said, you've been listening to R&B, Nuala. When I don't dance in this year, when I can't gyrate. Yeah. And I me go, see, fuck it. The band gave us the first level of trabaye that we know Over now. Trabaye. It was the band. It was the band. Without the band, there will be no trabaye. Shout out to Jazzy too. Take it anywhere. Without the band and Don Jazzy, there will be no trabaye today. Cheers, Shivas. Thank you. <laughs> Can I go? Or do you want to go? No, no, can I go? I think you should go. No, go. I think P Square is the goat of that gen- of that conversation. Of that conversation? Yeah. Okay. I think P Square is one. I hate conversations like this. You started it. Bro. So they... <laughs> this boy. Um let me let me take that again. So discography, I'll give it to P Square. Ah uh, no, yes. Huh? Impact. Mm. I'll give it to Two Face. Yes. Discography. You give it to Pisco. Pisco. Impact. Yeah. Give it Impact. To I'll give it to to Two Face. Mhm. Um. What's the? What are the other things? Yeah, commercial the success. Okay. Commercial Longevity, success. Longevity. Commercial success. Commercial success. I think it's Pisco as well. Pisco. Yeah. What's the other one? Longevity. Longevity. Yeah. Longevity. I'll give it to Two Baba. But mm. I think legacy wise of what it means to be a superstar artist. I, I think since nineteen ninety nine, what it means to be a superstar artist, I think two people have defined it the most. I think it's the band for yes. the artist. Mm-hmm. I think it's to a savage for women. Or generally. For the women. The people that broke ceilings so that people yeah. can be superstars comfortably. Yeah, yeah. True. I agree. It's two true. Of them. I agree one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah I, agree. I agree. I agree. It's the two of them. I agree. Like by far. Nobody fucking comes close. Nobody, yeah. Nobody defined what a superstar is. So, like so, the two of them. So I asking. agree on Tiwa Savage undoubtedly for the women. Ah, I agree for Tiwa Savage yeah, undoubtedly for the women. But before, so no, so this is how I say. Yeah. When it comes to the men, um, the band defined what it means to be a to be a superstar Mm -hmm. not necessarily what it means to be uh, an an art a super talented artist that everybody can say this is what you are great at thank you yeah yeah he he made us understand the a pop culture symbol Hmm. that was what he did the band did he showed us what it is to be a superstar like a pop culture um Maven. Maven. That was the band. Pause. Do you understand? He showed us what it is. Before the band came on, we always had superstars. We had talented artists. The band, um, P-Square. Mm-hmm. We had the, we had two faces and all of that. But uh, with the band, I think he, he, he showed us Riz. The band showed us Riz. He's the first yeah, person that showed us He showed us Riz as an artist Riz. where he did. Sure. That motherfucker had, performed in the tour like 22 hours. He had this oh. finesse to him. He had, a, he had oh, lingo. Sh- he had name for his. <laughs> he had charisma. Don Jazzy again. He had, and it was so fine as fuck. He was an entertainer. He showed us what it is to be an entertainer. So he defined that. What means to be a superstar? Actually. Yes, like yeah. I, I said, I remember when Asha. people were so brand wise. I think I don't think people remember this, but I think I need to remember people. Sorry, Melody. When the band was ticking all the boxes. The two people that were closer to him at different points were Tubaba, and the, at some points it was Yahuze Olimenten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At some points it was Timaya. For what do you mean closer to him? Like in terms at of different points. So let's say between 04 and 09, mm-hmm. right? The people that were closer to him in terms of the year that they had okay, success. Okay. Right? What do you mean Square? Yeah, like Olami P Square years mm-hmm. were closer to him, um, and then maybe like um, Nice at some point. Where in the Yahuze or um, phase at some point was not f- too far off, so I think some of those people at different points were in and around him. But the band was the one that was knocking it out of the park. 
them jazzy had been doing this shit. the marketing was on point the His identity was on point the video shoots do you remember that earlier in the days of og nice and two baba we used to drag their stage performance and yep. videos yeah Have you yep. forgotten? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah so that's I'll, why i say I'll, that I'll, the I'll, band I'll... defines that pop culture superstar thing but when it comes to like being an artist what what two face did before he did it was unprecedented the global success that he had in african queen when we're talking about how like this we charting global I hear Mm-hmm. What he, what what the band what Two Face did with African Queen? No artist had done it before. He did it globally. Yeah, but no artist did what in the in in his era. In, of course, in his era. In his era. In his era. In his era. Globally. But, you understand? So but, I feel like because time has passed, conversations at that time. Oliver Twist was bigger though. Yes, but before not the ah, same era. Not the same. Just, era. But after. just after. Just after. Just after. But before then, just nobody after. had done after. in that era what. Two faced with African Queen. What it did at the African Queen level at the time. Th- at that time was was, 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 so, was insane. It was insane. It was massive. We, we, we were like, um, what? The movie being on Fat Girls was an entirely different that, moment. That for was. Nigerian, I, Nigerian. I, I I put it to so, you that I'm sure a lot of Nigerian artists were like, so Ali Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Let's invite our Shiva's guy to come and tell us about. Yes, 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 yes. I'm um, guys. Day. Ah, ah Richard, come on, wear your attire and come. Where join our lives, bro? Shout out to Shivas. I, I wanna come bro. again. Shivas, I found another one. I found my Sugar's now. Sugar daddy. Shivas, are sugar daddy. Ah, Shivas daddy. Shivas daddy. Shivas daddy. daddy. Ah, Shivas Shivas daddy. Shivas daddy. Is Shivas a man or a woman? Have you already watched You need to ask him. I, I have Shivas. Richard, is Shivas a man or a woman? Shivas. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing Richard here, number one mixologist in Lagos, the number one superstar mixologist in Lagos. Let's go. And I'm coming with my. And it's coming with three, three. Shout out to Free try, Flow. Yeah. I'm alive. Free Flow. Free Flow. The Shivers Free Flow. Free okay. Flow. Free on, Flow. Free Flow. <laughs> ah. I like flow. Oh God, Wally, please now. No, I said, what? Wally, 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 like flu. No, I mean, I can't. Oh, Richard, come, come and explain. Oh, no, yeah. no, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. 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 Don't my name is Richard. I'm a mixologist for Chilos Rigo. Uh-uh. So, Mixo. So, uh, it's, nice, it's nice to be with you guys today. Hey, uh-huh, let's go. Can I carry my? Yo, definitely sure, please do. So let me now, let, let me tell you what you're gonna drink. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so you're yeah. drinking a, a cocktail from Ch- Chivas Rigo. Mm-hmm. So in this drink you have three recipes. Can you hear him? Outside the they can't hear him. Alright. In this cocktail, you have mm-hmm. three recipes outside the Chivas Rigo, which is a classic whiskey. Mm. Or a yeah. scotch whiskey. So you have the a blend of coconut and fresh watermelon. So this so watermelon is balanced fresh. diet. It's a balanced drink. <laughs> it's refreshing as well. It's very refreshing. Music to my ears, <laughs> just like yeah. music. And, and, and please I go, can't please, wait go on, please. Your please, please, please go on, please go on. Please go on. So it's a blend of coconut please and watermelon, please. fresh watermelon yeah. and coconut with a little bit of citrus with our Chivas Regal, Chivas XB precisely. In this drink, XV, 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 that is inside. Exactly. I, I know they usually try your drinks and let's hear. I, I, I melody, yeah, ladies first. Baby girl. I've had it before, because um, I'm a. You've had it before. I'm a man of the house. You've had it. Before. But guess what? This is my favorite drink. Anytime I see Richard, I say, Richard, make give me. I want to wait now. He wants to have double. It's actually so good. Wait. He has had it before now. It's so good. Yeah, Every time I see Richard on the streets, yeah. I say Richard. Right, Richard. Yeah. You have another food. cup. I do. I can make you another drink. But I actually have three different drinks which showcase for you guys tonight. Ah, you three. Ah. You don't have the time to. No, no, they have time. I have time. I didn't go to my house. I didn't, there's nobody waiting for me. Right. Ah, we didn't do shit. Ah, this is so nice. Melody. This is actually so nice. Yes, I can't yes. lie. I, I, I know. What? I know. Ah. This is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Chivas Rigo. Uh, 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 are we allowed to eat the watermelon? Yeah, free. Ah, thank you. Please, please. 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 Please.
Brian Shot. So, nice. so how can you relate with this now? What, what do you say, have to say about the drink? I already asked you if you have another one. Okay. You asked me what it's, I want. It's to actually really. I, I like. I don't understand. It's, it's, so, it's actually sweet. You can sweet. tell about the flavor that we bring. The, the fruitiness. So nice. The, the fruitiness is so like it's so fruity. It's so refreshing, and it's and it's easy going. Yeah. Like I just think it's so. You can have it as a welcome drink. Yeah. The drink I have so all day, all day round. Have, have it in the morning. Have you can complaint. have it in the afternoon. You can have it in the evening. Have a complaint. Have a complaint. That's finished. Yeah, that's finished. That's because, my thing. Because it's so refreshing and so lovely to have. I can make you one more after this. So I'm going to I'm introduce on. the second drink. Ha! Ah, there's another drink. Drink another drink. The second drink. Please bring the second drink. So, bring the, the second drink. Ha! Ah, Jesu. This is the kind of thing I want to be doing in my life. <laughs> come on. Do you want to come back? Ah! <laughs> Next week, I have full tank of fire by the grace of God. Emi <laughs> I did not oh, come. So nice. I will come. No, but on, on a serious note. It's so nice. How can we make this at you home? You can actually make this at home. Please I, tell I, us I can how. Take it uh-huh. What you need ah, to have? That's what I want to do. The first thing to have is a Chivas Regal. No, that is not a problem. Classic. Get a bottle of Chivas Regal. Any particular Chivas Regal. Get, I, I, I prefer the Chivas 15 for this particular cocktail. XV. The XV. The XV Chivas XV Chivas 15. I know where they sell original one. No, e- original one is everywhere actually. No, it's not in the bros. In our. Major superstores, major superstores stores. in Lagos. In Lagos, ah, you can go good. to the drinks NG. You can go to. I love it when you store. say things like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you can have, hmm. you can mix at home. Yeah. Just have your citrus, which is your fresh lemon juice. Just juice it out. Have the juice in itself. Okay. Got a coconut. Got so nice. Nice. You can have a coconut. So nice. The liquid of coconut, you can have the syrup or the water itself. You mean the, the liquid itself? Go, go, go. Oh, come on. <laughs> wait, no, wait, it's so nice. You can get one more. And, uh, and the last thing is your watermelon. strawberry. Okay. So the watermelon is a fresh watermelon. So you just model the watermelon or you blend it mm-hmm. to get the juice of the watermelon. Mm-hmm. In combination of these three items, the Chivas Regal. Watermelon, coconut, citrus, strawberry. And strawberry. Okay. And watermelon, citrus. Um, coconut. strawberry and coconut. coconut. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I like it. So you, you can model the model the watermelon mm-hmm. and um, throw the liquid, mix the liquid together with ice cubes, shake mm-hmm. it very well, and it's trained as well. So I need a shaker. Tell us about this other I one, the second one. Yeah. So this is my second drink tonight. It's, it's, it's called <laughs> yeah, the called second the, drink. Chivers Chivers pineapple highball. Mm-hmm. I, I can't taste it now. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Yeah. It's a classic for us, and uh, that's what they call me for. They didn't have taste time in the office. <laughs> oh my god! They didn't have taste time in this I also made it on this glass so you can see the, the beauty of the drinks. Not on, yeah, no, no, no. Ah, Richard, thank you, sir. Richard, how, how did you make this one? So, this is uh, very, it's, it's more like a simple syrup. So, so, it's quite simple. You don't need to blend, you don't need to shake. Mm-hmm. Just, get your, just get your high bowl glass, mm-hmm. get your high, fill it up with ice, mm-hmm. and pour in your volume of um, Chivas Rego, mm-hmm. top with fresh pineapple juice. And a little top of the soda. That's all you have in there. Richard, what's the top of the yard? It's the cheaper sour. I, I know what can go with this Next drink. Sour. What can go? Asun. <laughs> with plenty of okay. onions. A lot can go with it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, t- I'm telling you. Your First of all, this watermelon one is jollof rice. <laughs> okay. This one is asun. <laughs> Wala, <Well, I>, yeah. <laughs> Go see near asun, my wallet. Yes, <laughs> sir. But this is actually so this nice. Is this for us, this for us, but this one, you don't have to blend anything. Chivas right? Chivas so it's easy for you to make mm-hmm. with your glass, with ice easy. in the glass. Mm-hmm. Pour your chivas, pour your pineapple juice, mm-hmm. and a little mm-hmm. soda. Mm-hmm. Just a dash of soda. Mm-hmm. And that's what you need to do. I'll tell you. Shout out to Shiva. You be pushing. But why do you love that? Richard, of course, we have of course Wala. Of course, what's that? This is Asun. Shiva's Asun. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I would like to get the third one for you. Shiva's Asun. Richard, you are the good. Thank you so much for having but me. But have you made it already? The third one. Has it been made? It's, it's two minutes to be ready. It's already. Bra- it in, Bra- yeah. Bra- yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a classic that relates to, if you know the uh, whiskey sour very well. Yeah. yeah. This one I'm talking about related to the the whiskey sour. Is it, we call it the Chivas XB sour. Chivas XB sour. I'm sure you like it well, as well. Is, yeah. I don't know. How, like, I feel okay. Even in this so you can make a whole lot of drink with Chivas Rego. Okay. I feel all, my system is all right. <laughs> I feel like I'm flying. Ah. <laughs> wow. well, but anyways, what's what's been your favorite so far? Any boat? What's your favorite? Right? Free flow. Okay. It's amazing. The fruitiness hmm? of the drink. It's, it's beautiful. Everything. <laughs> you are buying. Shivers inside. Tell me about you. 
What's your favorite? What's your favorite? I already know what he's going to say. Free flow. <laughs> his favorite word is free flow. But well, he talks about that all the time. You never had it. So what do you say? What do you say about this? Um, Asun. Forget. Actually, I agree with you. Not be Asun when they don't do for ground though. Mm-hmm. Asun we say that they, they make them. They make them. You serve them. You serve them. I say they cut them from. Nothing is like foil. Nothing is foil. Do you understand? Know they put inside uh, stainless, stainless, stainless plate. Five, five, five. Oh, give me some of the toothpicks. Do you understand? Like I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it do. I'm going to try this with uh, the barbecue, the croaker barbecue. Hey, now! Now you're full of us! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! That's a su! Richard, we have to wrap up. Richard, we have to wrap up. We have to wrap up. We have to wrap up. Richard has to bring us our whiskey sour. And you give us after the show. No, no, no. Richard, he hasn't even made it. He hasn't made it. Mr. Orange. Richard has a <laughs> Thank you so much, Wait, Richard. Sh- sh- Richard. Richard, thank you. you thank you for goats. inviting me. Shivas that invited me. Number one. <laughs> the goats. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think I need this free flow every week. Question. I, I, I question. Question. Yes, I think I'll do that. I, it's, 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 I love it. I love it. It's really nice. We are finished, Abby. No. Yeah. Okay, we have not. Melody, you still a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we are done. We are done. We are not done. We are yeah. done, Tolani. We will not be done in Jesus' name. Follow us across all social media platforms ah. at Zero Conditions. Send us email on Twitter. And listen to our podcast. Twitter. Bye, Instagram. <laughs> Get yourself a bottle of Shiva's Regal. I and think. Richard, what's Richard, your social media handles? Bottle of Freak. At Bottle of Freak. What? At Bottle of Freak. Bottle of Freak. Bottle of B U T L E R O F R I Q U E. Bottle of Wahala. Please follow him <laughs> on social media and when and ask you him about Shivas. And yes, when you are to listening me. to Zero Conditions, Shivas you should actually get yourself a bottle of Follow Shivas Regal. Follow Shivas Regal across MG. Yes. All social media platforms. Shivas Regal. C H I V A S. It is not Timothy. R E G A L N G. At Shivas Regal. This episode. Can I sign us? We can have more. Sign up, yeah. You want to have a Shivas Regal bar for the Sign up, please. Please. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this sign show up, sign up. goes live on Monday. Eh, eh? Tisa comes out on Sunday. Oh. Tisa comes out on Sunday. The show I goes live on Monday from show. 7 a.m. Episode ah, is already live. Is, is this the best segment that we've had on the show? Today? For the drink, for yes. A- absolutely. I'm here for it. Richard, you should come back next week. Right. Please follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Zero Conditions Podcast. Okay.